Hey everybody, this is a video about the a video review of the CCA CA16. Um, and these are currently out at Linsol for uh, $59. Um, <clears throat> they are a 7BA and one dynamic driver hybrid um, in ear monitor. The so let's, let's go over, I don't know if I did an unboxing these or not, I can't remember now, so I'm just going to cover that a little bit. So they come in a really simple little box. Um, that thing is thick, man. I mean, it's like it's like bulletproof. I don't know if it's like made out of like balsa wood or something, but it's uh, very stiff or pl wrapped plastic. A little user guide. Um, some different sets of tips. A uh, very straightforward little box packaging. Um, yeah, no case or anything, which is which is fine. Um, put that aside. So they come with this cable, which is about the same quality as the blonde. You can see it's got this little crappy, like plastic pressed V split right there. Um, let me unplug this, <clears throat> and it's a three point five angled connector. But the cable's fine, and it doesn't really. It looks a little janky, but it doesn't really tangle too much. It's thin, but I, I'm going to tell you I'm very impressed with the sound signature on these. Um, and I'm going to compare these to, because of the price, I think a fair comparison is the, the Jade Audio, the EA3s. Um, those were $40, you know, $39.99, depending on when you get them. I've seen them as high as like $45. Um, these are $59, and uh, I think I paid $59. I might have had a, a, some rewards that I used against it or something, but yeah, $59 right now. Um, the, the tips they come with work really well. I had no problem at all. These fit my ear. They seal really good. Let's pop this off. Um, you can see it's a, a nice little gold on black there. Um, metal filter inside there. Uh, it's a two pin QDC type connector and let me just wipe this off so I don't have a bunch of nasty fingerprints but that's what it looks like uh, fits very comfortable in my ear no problems with that it's very very light in fact it's hard to believe that there's seven BAs and a dynamic driver in in here but uh, I guess there is I haven't cut it open to confirm that so I'm just going by what they say on their website um, <clears throat> so to get into the sound of these they what do they sound like so those BAs give a lot of nice separation and detail to instruments um, the dynamic driver these have very good bass you know not the best bass I've ever heard but you know very good bass um, and, and I think, you know, we all see these where, you know, 7BA and one dynamic driver. And then you go over and you look at something like the Fearless Audio that's got like, you know, um, five BAs or something. And but that thing's five hundred dollars or four hundred dollars. And this one's, you know, fifty nine dollars. And and it's got the same amount of BAs. And what is the extra cost? And what's, you know, I think the difference is, is in the quality of the BA. So Sonian and Knowles are the primary primary manufacturers of BAs. There's, I think there's some other Chinese manufacturers as well, um, but those are the primary ones. And and a lot of those BA manufacturers, they have like B lines. And by a B line, I mean they, as those things are being created and going through their assembly process, you know, they test, they have a testing stations where they plug into and they do a quick run through of, you know, noise with noise generators to confirm that they're putting out the signal frequencies the way they should. So most of those that they make probably, I don't, I don't know what the percentage is, but a percentage of those are almost perfect. And so those would be the A line. Um, and then there's a percentage that aren't perfect, but are still within reasonable spec. And those would be like the B line. And, and hell, I don't know, maybe they even have C line. But I know that other manufacturers of speakers, because I, I used to, I, I like home audio and I, I had quite a few different pairs of speakers in, in my home and, and I've studied that a lot and they have A and B lines where they'll, they'll, they actually will call them that and sell them as that, but some manufacturers don't. What they'll do is they'll take those B lines that don't match up as to their specs and they'll sell those off to other 
you know, manufacturers to be used in lower lower end stuff or stuff that's less expensive. So I, I'm just, I'm rambling a little bit, I know, but trying to make sense of why this is $59 and has seven BAs and a dynamic driver and something like the Fearless with this, you know, five BAs or whatever, and that's, you know, $500. So why is that? And and there really is a difference in quality in the sound too. You can hear it pretty clearly. Um, these sound really good. I'm not taking away from these. These these are definitely worth fifty nine dollars. I, I mean, if someone gave me these and I wasn't already listening to all the other stuff I've listened to, and you know, a decent player or even a phone, a phone will play these just fine. They drive very easily from a phone. Um, I would be completely happy. These. These have great separation. They have good high frequency. Um, the low end's very good. The mids are very good. Um, I feel like it's a slight V or maybe a Harman curve, I guess you could say to these. Um, but the tone is good. The timbre is decent. The stage is decent. Um, I, you know, one of the things I like to listen to as a standard to test out the reproduction sound quality. And that's a song off the Truth About Charlie album. Um, called uh, Dakara a la Pared and that that song has uh, um, in the beginning of it is raindrops on a tin, on a tin roof and also on the ground and someone's like kind of splashing in them stepping in them and if you don't have a really um, well-tuned set of IEMs you can't tell right away that that's what that is it, it sounds like water but you can't tell exactly what it is. Um, and so when I put a pair of IEMs in and, and I'm kind of trying to make a decision on, on the quality of the sound and understand what they're doing, I, I'll listen to that song and listen to that beginning piece so that I can understand how they're reproducing it. And, and with these on that song, it's very clear that that is water coming off a tin roof onto the ground and that someone's then splashing in it. And you can hear the raindrops individually and, and you can hear the splashes of the feet in the water. and and, and this, like I said, on some, it kind of muddies together and you can't really tell. But these, it's clear separation. Um, Amanda Martinez, I listened to uh, Hey Corazon on these and sounds beautiful. Her voice is beautiful in these. And, and I'll say that, so that last song I talked about with the rain in the beginning, uh, De Cara a la Pared. Um, one of the things about that song is that after the rain piece goes, there's a female vocal that takes over. Um, and I'm going to say on a, on a lot of IEMs, I don't listen to the song all the way through because I don't, there's nothing about it that moves me to do that. There are a few IEMs that that song, her voice is, sounds very uh, enticing and I want to finish that song. Um, the Peacock Audios, those are those, the uh, Spring Ones, I think it is, those definitely, like I really like listening to that song all the way through on those. Um, I liked it on these as well all the way through. These produce vocals really well um, female vocals especially but vocals in general really good um, I, I can't really put these down they did everything good I'm not saying they're fantastic or great and the you know best I am ever ever heard heard but these compete with things over a hundred dollars no problem at all no problem at all um, I would say that these are coming in just under those ISN 40s you know, not too far behind them. ISN 40s are better. They have, they have better separation. They have better um, timbre. But these um, are very clean sounding. Like, you know, some IEMs you get a little bit of a hiss. I'm sure that's due to the impedance of the drivers inside of them and other design issues. But um, these are very clean, dark background, very clean sounding. Instruments are separated really well. Um, uh, string instruments sounded very good on this. I will say that um, wood instruments, like wind instruments, sounded pretty decent, but not you know the best I've heard. Um, cello sounded good, but not the best I've heard, um, but still very good. Um, so I don't know really what else I can say about these. The cable's good enough. I don't think you'll need to replace it. I, I'm, perf I'm I'm happy with this cable. It's it's not the best looking thing. Um, but it works and it's comfortable um, and these sound really good with this cable I didn't have any problem with that so for $59.90 or $59 even um, these are a definite recommend um, and I think that they play up against things that are over $100 um, 
yeah so definitely good um highly recommended all right guys thanks hope this helps you out